Hello, hello, hello. Marcy Ben from Think Premium JA sharing a quick word with you. And this one is actually from Hebrews chapter 10, verses, verses 32 to 37. And it's actually really important that I highlight this one because I don't know if you remember the apostle Paul, but you know, he'd have gone through a lot in his ministry to God and you know what a lot of people don't realize is the Bible is probably the best business book that you'll ever read and a lot of what Paul highlighted you know entrepreneurs go through the same stuff as well at least the ones that really stick to it stick to it I mean I have had my business for about seven years technically seven years and about um about four basically five months now and uh, technically six yeah technically six months seven years and technically six months now and uh, you know i've seen a lot of things i've seen a lot of ups i've seen a lot of downs i've paused it many times i've restarted it many times i've been in it in various stages in life um both as an employee and also full-time and you know it's the whole thing is a journey and like a child a lot of things you don't know until you're in the middle of it and I mean, God bless you if you have somebody to kind of manage your expectations with certain things or relate with you on certain things. Many people never have that. I know I never had that. You know, for most of my time, I was really figuring things out by myself. And a lot of times I got misused, abused, mishandled, tricked <laughs> and kicked <laughs> and not much to show for it. So, but you know, this actually encourages me in the sense that you know god was with me the entire time and it, you know it takes a lot of faith to be an entrepreneur and having a relationship with god does help and i can also say that you know a lot of things that we go through as an entrepreneur even the bible jesus went through it as well which is why i look on the bible as probably one of the best business books you can ever read i mean i've read probably about well over 250 books like I've just torn through books. I love reading. And I don't know what happened to me this year. <laughs> Maybe life caught up with me. But I haven't really read many books besides the Bible this year, to be very honest. And I don't regret it. And here's a verse that I want to share with you. It's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32 to 37. And it goes, Remember how it was with you in the past? In those days, after God's light had shone on you, you suffered many things, yet were not defeated by the struggle. You were at times publicly insulted and mistreated, and at other times you were ready to join those who were being mistreated in this way. <clears throat> you shared the sufferings of prisoners, and when your belongings were seized, you endured your loss gladly, because you knew you still possessed something much better, which would last forever. Don't lose your courage. Then, because it brings with it great reward, you need to be patient. In order to receive the will of God and receive what he promises. For as the scripture says, just a little while longer. And he who is coming will come. He will not delay. Now, <laughs> listen, as an entrepreneur, you're here just a little while longer. You know? I know so the bills are due and the money is few and everything just seems to be going wrong around you. That's not the easiest line to hear. I can relate. I can relate. I can relate. And yes, I can relate. But what I can say is that, you know, with God, the future is always great. It hurts right now, but if you hold on and you keep pushing, man, the view at the end of it all will be worth it. Because not many people survive in business. Business is the great equalizer. Anybody can go to company's office and register a business. Yes, but not everybody can run a business. Not everybody can stay in business when things are going wrong. Not any, not any, anybody can deal with the kind of rejection you deal with as an entrepreneur. Not anybody can deal with the kind of mistreatment you deal with as an entrepreneur. And having things be taken away from you. People taking credit from your work. People misusing and abusing you. People disrespecting you. People stealing from you. People lying from you. You deal with that as a person in life in general. You know, but as an entrepreneur, it hits different. Because it's like people doing that with your kid, yo. It's crazy. And I don't even have kids. And I'm telling you that. It's crazy. 
so you have to understand that there's hardly anything new under the sun but if you hold on just a little bit longer you see what god gave you that vision that god gave you that promise that god gave you if you give it over to him and you ask him to give you the revelation to make that happen and trust in him that he will guide you through it listen god will do wonders in your situation has it always been perfect for me no listen trust me sit with me honey i'll tell you things i'm gonna tell you things but i can also say that god always provided a way god always provided a way and if he's not if you feel like he's not providing for you or you feel like he's silent that means you need to really go to him and pray harder and believe harder because your faith could be holding you know you back or it could just be a case where god isn't ready to really show you what he's working on behind the scenes maybe he's cultivating you in his period of silence you never know maybe god gave you this mountain so that you can show others that through him that mountain can be moved so whatever it is you're going through whether it is your home's on the foreclosure or things aren't going well with your business or you know you're about to get deregistered from school or you don't know how you're gonna eat tonight or you're about to get kicked out of your place or you know god forbid but i'm just throwing stuff out there because people go through stuff on a daily basis that they don't tell people about just know that god is with you and just come near to god regardless of what's going on just come near to god and i would like you to just join me for a quick moment of prayer i'm trying to do more of these all right so let's just get into attitude of prayer dear heavenly father thank you for the person on the other end of the screen lord i ask that you speak life into their situation I ask that you give them a great big hug and embrace in the spirit lord and fill them up with your glory so that they know that you're with them regardless of how their situation looks lord help them to remember that greater is he that is within them the holy spirit than what's in the world around them lord help them to see you manifest in ways in which is supernatural and hard to imagine or transform their situations or transform their finances transform their businesses transfer their lives transform their health and whatever they need in terms of possessions connections etc transform it lord for your glory and i ask that you just open doors for them in the mighty name of jesus lord i ask that you put them under open heaven in the mighty name of jesus according to your will lord i ask that you create in them a clean heart and renew a right spirit within them as you said in psalms 51 verse 1 lord i ask that you help them to see you in a new light and help them to remember proverbs 10 verse 22 that the ability to earn wealth comes from god hard work achieves nothing help them to remember that they can work hard but unless it is ordained by you it won't happen help them to partner with you with their faith lord and help them to remember that you are with them you will not leave them and you are greater than the challenges that they face lord send your angels to encamp around them wherever they go as you said that you would for your children in psalms 91 verse 11 lord and just do a new thing in their lives lord Help them to truly seek your face and give their lives over to you fully, Lord. And I just invite you into their space, invite you into their lives, invite you into their hearts, Lord. Take all the broken pieces, take all the parts that they don't wish to talk about and just heal them and lift them up, Lord. So whatever is holding them back mentally can be released in the mighty name of Jesus so they can get the divine revelation to make the moves that you need them to make any unforgiveness any bitterness any pain that they're holding on to due to rejection due to the things not working out due to the pain that they have experienced the disappointment that they've experienced help them to let that go lord and see you do new things in their lives in supernatural ways do new things in their businesses in supernatural ways do new things in their families in their health in their relationships in their whole being in supernatural ways lord i magnify you i thank you so much for all that you're doing now lord as we speak lord and i thank you for the opportunity to fellowship together with you lord and i just welcome you into this space lord fill us up holy spirit lord and anything that is not of you let it be destroyed by fire no in the mighty name of jesus anything that is coming against me or the person on the other end of the screen let it be destroyed by fire let it be destroyed by the fire of the holy ghost now in the mighty name of jesus 
Amen. I hope that prayer blessed you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. And if this message added value to you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know, I would hope that you could share with somebody else that gained value from it. And just comment down below and say that God is with me. Comment down below and say that God is with me. Alright? Have a wonderful day. Take care and remember to never stop dreaming. Bye-bye.